Good evening. So, as you know, we're negotiating three issues today pertaining to the mall. We have the issue of assignment, the issue of use, and the issue of subletting. So, I think the way we should start this negotiation is to go through each of the issues, discuss the underlying interests for each mm -hmm. of these issues, and then say what each of our priorities are yeah. in terms of these three areas of the negotiation. Yeah. So, you can begin. So, which one do you want to start with? Let's start with the issue of assignment. Okay. So for assignment, well, as you just already know, under our article 22, we have the, we want you guys to understand that we want to have the full control of both, especially like the assignment. And then I'm not sure and that's for all three of these issues. You want complete control yeah, that's, over all three. That's the initial like offering here. Okay, that's your starting position. Yeah. Because we like because we decided at this because we apply this on both of our leasing terms with other companies or developers in other areas. And then we also think like for 30 years it's a quite long period. So we can't really decide what it will go on in the future. So maybe the e-commerce kind uh, became too raised. So we don't really have a much controls in the future than we have today. Maybe our comp competitions goes up, goes down. So we have to decide to change something. So we need, we want to have the right to change it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, and I do understand those underlying interests. Now, in terms of our starting position, we did create a substitute for Article 22 mm -hmm. as an opening offer, and I don't know if you have that with you, with the information that yeah, you have, yeah, yeah. our substitute, okay. So essentially what we're saying with this substitute Article 22 is in order for you to implement any changes in terms of assignment use or subletting, you'll need to get the written approval from the landlord. Yeah, I totally understand that. So could you let me know just for like as we discussed in the assignment for the issues under the assignment you, you guys should most most focus on or any issues like you want us to follow? For assignment? Yeah. Sure. So for assignment, obviously this is to get this clear if this is about this is as opposed to subletting assignments talking about transferring the entire tenant lease. Yeah to somebody else. So really what we need here, we do understand that you're looking for flexibility in terms of the assignment. That is something that we understand from your perspective. But what we're looking for is we need consistency. We can't risk, okay, there's 10 years and then you change this from a luxury department store to something that's completely different because that could affect our financing, that could affect the revenues coming into the mall and could ultimately mm -hmm. jeopardize the entire complex. Okay, so um, based, based on our information gathering, we have heard like, because this town is based, based on the healthcare industry and then okay. there's a high possibility that the higher, like the healthcare industry will even collapse in the future. So what we want um, regarding the assignment is that we have the right to actually have the option to go dark. And then it's negotiable if you want- So another. you're referring to the option to go to business? Yeah. Okay. Now I do understand your concerns in terms of the healthcare industry, what happens if these businesses go out of business, and we, that is something that we looked into. Obviously, we're the ones developing the shopping mall, so that's a concern for us too, how that will affect the local economy and in turn our shopping mall. So we actually commissioned a study looking into that issue, and we determined that that's very unlikely to occur, and the future is bright here in Northview. Okay. So we don't anticipate that being an issue. So you you are saying like maybe in the future ten years or something they won't be done, right? For the house industry, healthcare industry. Right? right, that's what we're worried about. That maybe 10, 20, 30 years from now, all those businesses based on the healthcare industry, they go out of business. That brings down mm -hmm. the local economy. So what we did is we did a study looking mm -hmm. into the possibility of that, and it was concluded that's very unlikely that that will happen. Yeah. Okay. 
I know this new saying about like you don't want us to change from a luxury store to something else. Right. A low end because our goals here is also to maintain our luxury like high end stores because and we purposely understand your concerns and we are positive that our like our consumer level will change because we will still maintain like the high end stores for a long time. Okay, that's great. So I feel like we do have the same interest here. You yeah. want the assignment, and I'm assuming the use as well, from what you said, mm -hmm. to remain the same, and that's also what we're looking for. Yeah, so we will remain the same as uh, like luxury store, but what we consider here is the risks going on, going forward, because as I said, 30 years is a long term, and there's all kinds of uncertainty in the future, so we really want the controls of those issues, because we want to because I feel like it's also your guys' interest to have us be more and more profit in the future is because we need to adjust our, for example, the product chains or maybe how to how should our strategy changes according to those risks in the market. Okay, so it sounds like for you the main concern is 30 years is a long time. We yeah. don't know what's going to happen between now and whatever 30 years yeah. now is. So I do understand that. So what I've thought of in preparation for this is one potential compromise. So assignment will be allowed after, say, 15 years. So for the first 15 years, no assignment. And then after 15 years, yes, that will be permitted under certain conditions that we can negotiate. Because I do understand 30 years is a long time. Mm -hmm. So if we bring that down to 15 years, first 15 years that you're in business here, no assignment after that. Yes, there can be assignment under certain conditions, one of those being it remains a luxury department store. So first of all, 15 years is still like a long-term period. What's and, a reasonable time period for you? Uh, and I would say maybe like for the first fifth, five years. Five years. I would say we can ask for approval or for any kind of assignment, that's fine. But okay. after that, we want our control. And and regarding your, like, your concession here, what do you mean by under certain circumstances, just to be clear? Well, that's something that we can negotiate going forward. But for instance, it could be first five years, no assignment, or perhaps you need written approval from the landlord for assignment, and then after that, assignment can take place, providing that it is going to remain a luxury department store. Okay. So does that sound like something that would be reasonable for you? Uh, I would say if for like after the after the five year period, we can have the assignment in regarding to what we think the situation is proper, I think that would be Okay. So I originally proposed 15 years. You said that's still too long. You would prefer five years. So there's someone we could meet in the middle there, maybe 10 years. Mm. 10 years is still like a long time because what we, I can, I can be confident confident that our companies can do great in, in five years, but I'm not sure, like in 10 years, because a lot of things do change. And I'm not sure if you heard of that, like the Amado, they are an online store and they are currently planning to have uh, real stores going on. And I'm not sure if that's an uh, ongoing trend for the whole market. So that's actually raising concerns for industries like us. So how how about we say for the five first five years we can have the uh writing pro uh writing approvals for the assignment and then for five years to ten years we can negotiate we we can both negotiate how we should assign to another company or anything like that and then afterwards we have the right to assign complete freedom um. It's obvious that you need, you guys need still need to agree on it, but it's like our it's our our company's decision. 
So I feel like what this essentially is, is after 15 years, we're going mm -hmm. back to where we started with the original Article 22. And what our problem is here, the way this Article 22 is originally written, including the portion on the assignment, we cannot get financing for this project unless we change that complete freedom. So, so when you say like the original like article, do the you article mean, twenty two that you yeah. are proposing. Okay. So why? we've approached this company, Northview Trust and Insurance Company mm -hmm. (NTI). They're the ones who are going to permanently finance the shopping mall project, and they said that they will not be able to finance it the way that Article Twenty Two is currently written because of that complete freedom in all three of those areas. Oh. So did they say anything about how they are going to finance if, like, the Article Twenty Two changed a little bit or? What kind of change they want? They want, first and foremost, the tenant cannot have complete freedom in terms of use, assignment, and subletting. But if we can compromise on all of those issues, then yes, we will be able to secure financing. For instance, with the assignment. Maybe after only a certain number of years, as we talked about, you can assign, and then even after that certain number, it needs to remain to a similar operator. For instance, oh, a luxury department. So part. what I thought you you proposed at the beginning is like after the fifteen years, we can have the free like for for them to do that. So what exactly do you mean? So my proposal is. Assignment will only be allowed after 10 years. I originally mm -hmm. said 15. I'm willing to move that to 10 because you said five. I think it's yeah. fair that we split that down the middle. So assignment only allowed after the first 15 years. And then after that, you will be able to assign a lease to a similar operator, meaning a luxury department store, similar credit rating, similar operating history and product lines. Okay. And you said that that's one of your interests, too. Yeah. If you did a sign, you would want it to remain with a similar operator. So I feel like for assignment, so what I'm trying to put here is, like, if I continue to operate, like, as our company, as Summit, we will, we will still need to put it as a high-end luxury store. But if it's an assignment, I feel like it's just, like, it's really, for our interest, it's really who can give the best deals because we need to assign it out. And anyone who is willing to take the place, because when we start to assign it, it's under the consideration that we are not doing well, we are not operation good, right? So it's the thing like if anyone wants to take the place and they have the power to, and the credit to take the place, it's fine. So you're saying in terms of assignment, you would just be looking for who can offer you the best deal. Yeah. And that's understandable. I don't think that's incompatible with what we're offering mm -hmm. here, as long as it is a similar operator with a similar credit rating to Summit stores, with a similar operating history to Summit stores, similar products being sold. So I really don't think those two positions go against each other. So, it's possible that you can get the best deal for yourself and it remains a luxury department store. Okay. So should we first put out like what we even though we have we haven't fully agreed on this one, should we still like put it down and then maybe we can go back to it a little bit? Afterwards. All right. So what we agreed on is assignment will be allowed after 15 years. And then after that 15 year mark, assignment will only be allowed, you can only assign the lease to a similar operator. Is that what we agreed on? Um, so for what we agreed on, I think I proposed five and then you said 15 years and then we are not done at this stage, right? I'm sorry, I said 15, I meant 10. 15 was my opening offer. Yeah. But we agreed on 10. That's what I meant, after 10 years. So what I have here is assignment only allowed after 10 years. After 10 years, Summit stores can only assign to a similar operator. And when we get down to the final agreement, we can lay out the terms of what exactly similar operator means. Okay. 
But can you agree on this as a preliminary agreement for assignment? So for similar operator, do you mean like similar luxuries? Similar to Summit Stores in terms of the credit rating, in terms of the mm -hmm. product line, what you sell. Okay, so for this one, I'm not sure I can fully agree on it, but... What part can't you fully agree on? Um, the, so I'm agreeing on we can visit to a similar operator. But I'm not sure on that. Yeah, but I'm not sure like for the 10 years. And You're then, still stuck on that. Yeah. So what I propose now is like we do like assignments is not allowed for five years. And then for next five years, we can like negotiate and see like we both can, if something wrong happens, we, we both can find another maybe uh, operators who want to have the interest in some. Uh, assignment. I'm sorry, did you explain that last part? What happens after the five years? So, what what I think what you mentioned here is like after 10 years, assignment can happen, right? Correct. And then it can happen because like our company purposely want to have a, another assignment. It's not because like maybe um, you guys want to pick the companies or something like that, right? Okay. So what I'm saying here is like for the first five years, no assignments, no, no uh, assignment assignments permitted. permitted. Okay. And then for the next five years, if something wrong happens, there's a condition there. So if there's something wrong happens. What do you mean by something wrong? It's basically on like our side. So if our revenue goes down, there's no, in, like there's no interest in consumers to go actually go into a real stores for the thing because what we are seeing like in the future is the e-commerce will eat our revenues little by little in the okay. future years. So if something wrong happens and and our company don't want to see that also. Right. But if something wrong happens, we can sit down and uh, pick any other possible solutions on the tables for the for the next five years. And then after 10 years, it's assignments is okay. Okay, so when you're talking about if something wrong happens, is mm -hmm. that within the first five years it's, or is that? It's from the fifth year to the 10th year. So, okay. Be, yeah, because you are saying you want a after 10 year assignment is permitted. Right. But I feel like 10 years is still too long for our companies. So what I want to do is to do like for the fifth year to 10th years, we want a buffer there. So make sure if anything wrong happens, we can still do that, still have the assignment. Because, it, because if something wrong happens, it's not good for our company and it's also not good for the developers because we don't have, if we don't have revenue or don't have sales at all, there's no, there won't be any percentage sales anymore. Okay, I'm just not too sure how this proposal is different from what I originally proposed. After a certain number of years, assignment can happen to a similar operator. I'm not too sure how that's different. Uh, so because you are saying like after 10 years, it cannot happen. So I'm saying what I'm saying is like after five years, it can happen. But like from five, five years to 10 years, it has a more controls in developers hand instead of in our hands. Would that be understandable? I'm sorry, I just still don't understand how that five to 10 years is different from the proposal that I laid out. Because essentially what I was saying is, yes, after 10 years, assignment mm -hmm. can take place under the conditions that we lay out in these negotiations. I mean, I don't necessarily think that the rationale behind the assignment is relevant. You're saying if something goes wrong, if our revenues go down yeah. due to e-commerce or something like that. I mean, yes, I understand that that's what you're worried about in terms of assignment, mm -hmm. but I don't see how that's particularly relevant to this agreement. I mean, in the agreement that I laid out, after 10 years, assignment can happen to a similar operator. That could be because your revenues are going down yeah, or yeah. something adverse is happening with yeah. your business. Because what I think what I will just explain that again. So okay. what I think is maybe from the five years to the ten years, there's still a possibility for us to want to assign to another another stars. And then upon your 
Papal law is not allowed, right? Under my proposal, assignment is not allowed up until the 10th year. Yeah. So what you're saying is to alter my proposal between 5 and 10 years, assignment yeah. will be allowed under specific circumstances? Yeah. So, okay. So the, uh, the assignment can be allowed while it's in a more strict, uh, strict regulations or any like circumstances. Okay, and what specific circumstances are we talking about here? So if our company ex ex is experiencing loss, or uh, like, yeah, so it's basically experiencing loss, well, we cannot really keep on um, operations. Okay, so this is if Summit experiences losses mm -hmm. that would not allow them to continue operating at the Northview month. Yeah. Okay, I think that that's something that we can definitely work off of. I'm just going to write this down here yeah, so we, we have it for the record. So from what I understand is assignment will only be allowed after five years, and between year five and year ten, assignments mm -hmm. only allowed under those circumstances during which some experience losses that will not allow yeah. it to continue to operate. And I'm assuming that's a similar operator um aspect of this would apply here as well it can yep. only be assigned to a similar operator and then after 10 years it's the same yeah okay and then i think uh, how do you think who should decide as the new operator or should we just use a like third party standards for that um, yeah, in terms of similar operator, I think we can just say similar credit rating, similar products. Okay. I feel like that's good enough. So I think also what we can do here is you said assignment allowed up until five years after year five assignment allowed under certain circumstances. I don't think we really need to differentiate between five to 15 after 15. I think we can just say after year five. After year five. And would you be willing to, I mean, I went down from 15 to 10 to five. Would you be willing to change that five to seven? Meet in the middle. I said 10, you said five. I, I keep going down here. Seven. Yeah. You could do seven? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I think that settles the issue of assignment, if you're happy with that. At least for now, we can always come back to it. So what one would you like to do next? We have use and subletting to cover. Uh, we can do subletting. Okay, what's your opening position on subletting? So as you know, um, our companies, because um, as you, uh, I'm not sure if you are clear about this, because my boss is not in Boston today, so I'm the one who like who replaced him to attend this negotiation. Okay. So our my boss theory is to have the full control of the subletting, but but I know it's so you not said your boss wants full control of the yeah, subletting. Okay. But I know it's not like it's if we want the full control, it's not negotiable at all. So we might want to take him down a little bit, but it's not going to be like a big concession. Right. Now, our concerns here with the subletting is, again, the financing. Mm -hmm. NTI will not finance the shopping mall project unless you relinquish some of that full control over the subletting. And then you realize that Summit Stores, as the anchor store, that establishes the character of the mall. That's what brings in customers. That's what brings in revenue. So we're worried that subletting could change the character of the mall could possibly compete with some of our satellite tenants, and mm -hmm. that's something we don't want to occur. Okay, so I have a question for you. Okay. So would you say, uh, would you say Subnet as the uh, our current tenant will have the high priority compared to the other stores in the malls? Priority to sublet over the smaller tenants, you're asking? Yeah. What do you mean by priority? So I, it's not in, it's not only applied to subletting, maybe also applied yeah, to the use. use. So do you think because we are the the major tenant here, so maybe we we would be uh, we would be able to decide 
whether some stores can be put near us because we want to be a luxury stores. And then it's it's I would say it's definitely we would appreciate if some other luxury stores are around us. Oh, like in the vicinity yeah, of your store. In like distribution. So if Subla uh, if Summit is here, so we want out other stores around us would be something like Burberry's or other like luxury store instead of other kind of like stores like foodies or something. We will pre prefer the luxury stores. Okay, I understand that. So what you're saying mm -hmm. is actual the physical proximity. So yeah. your store and then right next to your store will be another luxury store yeah. of some sort. Okay, that is something that I'm willing to negotiate on, but mm -hmm. I would need something in return for okay. compromising on that. But that's definitely something that we can keep on the table as we progress through yeah. the negotiation. So because I propose this because I feel like that's a sheer interest because I feel like yes, like because our uh, because we are a luxury store, so if some something like it's targeted to like low incomes groups are near to us, it might cause us to like lose our sales or something like that, which also is not good for the product. I agree. So in terms of subletting, mm -hmm. would you be able to compromise on maybe the percent of space that you're allowed to sublet or regulations pertaining to the character of the use being the same, for instance, you are a luxury department store, you can only sublet to similar luxury stores that will act as a department within your store. So that be or like so like the way you ask, is that like you can choose from one to another or it's just like an alternative or they should be I'm just products. suggesting some possible compromises. Okay. So I think for to discuss our use, we need to first finish like the we can't really finish the subletting until we finish like the discuss our use okay. of our department stores. But I would definitely be uh, okay to do like if there's a certain percentage we need to follow or there's a limited of stores we we can we we are able to sublet. Okay. Like both forms works for me. All right, so I agree that maybe we should discuss use first and yeah. then we can build the subletting agreement off of that. Mm -hmm. So our top priority for use is that this remains a luxury department store. We don't want that to change. Again, that would change the character of the mall. That could affect our financing, which is really the underlying interest here. We mm -hmm. need financing for this project or else that's a lose-lose for both of us. We don't get yeah. to develop this mall. You don't get to locate here in Northview. So that is a shared interest here. So as I said, in terms of use, we do want this to remain a luxury store. So I think that some potential compromises here is in terms of the specific types of goods that the store is mm -hmm. allowed to sell in the future in terms of use. What are your thoughts? So what are your definitions for luxury store? Oh, it's just a Okay. Fair, fair sure, so luxury department store is what we're looking at, something similar to Summit stores, something that doesn't sell appliances, doesn't sell furniture, books, video games, hardware supplies, a high-end clothing store. Yeah, so did, did we just define it as a clothing store? Because um, what we figured out is that Maybe in the future, we might want to expand our uh, product lines a little bit. Maybe we want to expand our stores a little bit. Like Okay, what are you looking to expand into? So what I'm saying here is like we are still going to keep our definition as a high-end store. Okay. But what we will change in the future, because the future is unpredictable, maybe we will, concern to, uh, we will consider to add something like just as you talk about, we don't have restaurant right now. Maybe we want to want to add a few restaurants to attract more people. We would, we don't have large furnitures and other stuffs right now. Maybe we want to add a little bit more in the future. Okay. So how far into the future are we looking at for this? When are you looking to expand into these new markets? New markets? I would say 
for um for the restaurant it's in near future maybe near future and then maybe for the like the furnitures and big expensive uh, things it's gonna be after the expand to the restaurant okay so i do see where you're coming from here mm -hmm. and would you be willing to continue the current use for a certain time period so say the use cannot change for the first however many years because that will facilitate this agreement just to get the lease started and then moving forward as you decide to expand that's something that we can discuss in those specific situations how many years are you going to do? what would be reasonable for you um so for the idea of the restaurants, we, are, mm -hmm. we currently has already considered about it and we are also reach out to other companies to like consider it. But like our, I think it's not conf conflicting because we are still, even if we plan to have a restaurant in our department store, we are still going to be not for the store. Okay. It won't change. I do like, understand that. So how about, this is an opening proposal on my end here. Mm -hmm. First five years, no change in use. So it remains as a luxury clothing store. And then after those five years, change in use must maintain what we refer to as the store's character. Wow. So that would be... Right, luxury products, and then if there's any change in use outside of that, say a restaurant, because obviously clothing and dining establishments, two very different types of offerings that we have here. So something like that, that would require written approval from the landlord. So the first thing, correct me if I'm wrong, so we are not currently uh, like a merely clothing store, right? It's not, so here it says out to be like, we have clothes, shoes, other like makeup, still, or stuff. Right, clothing so, and accessories, I think yeah. would be fair to say. So what I would say is, I feel like the restaurant here is an ongoing project for our companies. Okay. And then, we won't have any issues if you agree um let our companies to have a restaurant in near futures maybe two or three years or two to five years then we won't have any troubles for us to maybe consider developing other things like large applicants and large furniture maybe we can delay that project later Okay, so you would delay the furniture in order to have permission to change the use in terms of the restaurant. Yeah. And would you be willing to wait five years for that? We keep the initial use for the first five years to facilitate getting this all started. And then after that, we can talk about the restaurant. Mm, so because I think my boss is has already reached out to one restaurants it's a it's a i'm not sure if you know that but it's a seafood restaurant and it's also high quality local local area food because seafood and oyster is a thing in boston areas mm -hmm. and and then i think it's a very recent project so we can't really delay it for so five years you can't wait five years yeah maybe you're willing to wait three years uh i I think we could do, I think we could do t two years if, yeah, if, because I have noticed that you have an interest tenant of legal seafood. So maybe, uh, maybe if we want to expand our restaurants for the high quality seafood restaurant in our departments, maybe you want, you might want to consider to like, put legal seafood aside because it's kind of comp competitive in the market, right? Okay, I do see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So I think the two years, that's something that we can agree on. I mean, I initially said five, you don't have the waiting period. Mm -hmm. I think two is more than fair for both of us. So first two years, will be no change in use. So now yeah. we're looking at what happens after that two, two year period. 
Yeah. So would you be willing to get written approval from the landlord in terms of the restaurant after two years? So I think when we discuss this and then we say, uh, we say that we need to, we have to have the restaurant open after two years, it's already approved, right? It's not, we, we need to wait for two years and then we still- Oh, so you would like get approved within that period so you can get up and running yeah. right after the two years. Yeah. Okay, I do think that's fair enough. So, so it's just like, I don't think it's, it's like, I feel like when I say the proposal and then you say maybe you need to wait after two years, it's just like already set as approved, right? It's not like we still need to discuss it after two years and then we still need to see if that's possible. Okay, so how about we stay with the fact that there's no change in use in the first two years, mm -hmm. but during those two years, even when there's no change in use, during that two year time period, you can seek approval. So that you can say, I would like to request approval to change the use in order to add a restaurant to Summit Stores. This restaurant will begin operations after the two year moratorium on changing mm -hmm. the use. So is that something that would be fair to you? But, um, you can still start. Yeah, like the thing is, what if the written, or the written uh, approval didn't be passed? What if it doesn't get approved, you're asking? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously that's a risk, but if you have a good business case for these restaurants, then I don't see that being an issue because you and I, we both want this to main, be maintained as a luxury space. Yeah. So if you can make the case that this is, and you said this is going to be a high-end restaurant, yeah. then you should be able to get approval, no problem. Yeah, but what I don't want here is like, I need to wait two years and then I still wait for a decision at that time. So I want we have a decision up front, maybe you can tell me like after two years, I can run the restaurants instead of like after two years, I still need to wait for the approvals. And there's also a possibility that I cannot be approved. All right, how about we can make sure that during that two year period, there's sort of a fast track process for you, meaning we can guarantee that we will have an approval decision within the two years so that you can be ready to start after the two years are up. We can guarantee that for you, so that it's not after two years and you're still waiting to yep. hear back from us on this approval. So would you like to add that into our Yeah, center? so okay. It's... So in terms of use, we have first two years, no change in use. Mm -hmm. After two years, you can get written approval from landlord for change in use and we can guarantee during that two year period that any approval will be given within the two years so that you can be ready to start once the two year waiting period is over. Yeah. So it's say like, it's, so every everything I apply for approval, it will be approved in two years or it's just the restaurant cases. In terms of the restaurants, because we know that this is a high priority for you getting okay. these restaurants. Okay. You will get a decision on approval within those two years. So do you want to specify as the restaurants? Oh. Yes, I'll put that in. Because you had said you were willing to compromise on the furniture and yeah. the other items. Okay. So that covers use, I believe. The mm -hmm. only other thing I want to go over in use is in order to get approval, you have to demonstrate that this maintains the store's character as a luxury store. So, and as you said, that shouldn't be a problem. You said this is a high-end restaurant. Yeah. This fits in the theme of luxury, right? This isn't like fast food or anything so like that. So if I agree on that, could you maybe add a note that I can have something, at least I can have something in deciding like what's the store around me? Okay, that, that is fair. Yeah, I feel like it's really That's a fair compromise. So that brings us to the issue of the subletting. And I'm not too sure where that issue of the physical proximity of other luxury stores, where that would fall in. I don't think that falls in any of these three issues. That can sort of be an extraneous item that doesn't fit under assignment use and subletting, but we can still put that in the agreement. Okay. Sort of as an end note. 
So in terms of subletting, what would you like? What's your opening position here? So as this says, like the subletting is typically from 5% to as much as 25%. So our opening position is 25% and we have the freedom to decide who we are going to sublet. Okay, so you want to be allowed to sublet up to 25% of the space, correct me if I'm wrong, and yeah. you want complete control over who it's subletted yeah. to without any sort of approval process. And as I'm sure you know, and now this does bring us back to the whole issue of the financing, this whole mm -hmm. tenant has complete control, we won't be able to get the financing, but I'm sure you're willing to compromise on this as you are willing to compromise on the other two issues. So you said 25% total control. Would you be willing to do, as you said, the range is usually between 5 and 25? Would 15 be something reasonable? Just cutting it right down the middle, 15%. Well, I don't think 15%. So, like, as you said, uh, as you as I told you before, we are considered a restaurant. So a restaurant will, like, approximately take the space like take the 7% to 10% at least from our stores. And then, so if we set it as 15%, it's not much room. Like we ha can have for other subletting even uh, if going futures. Okay, well you said that one tenant that you're looking to possibly enter into a sublet agreement with is between seven and 10%. I mean, that's still 15 would still leave you with upwards of 5% for other tenants. Yeah, but it's just one single tenant. It's not like if we want to sublet to any others, there won't be enough space for us to do that. So you're saying you're worried that that one tenant would take up all the space and then yeah. you wouldn't be able to sublet to anyone else. Yeah. I don't see how that would be the case though. I mean, say 15% is your limit that one tenant takes up seven percent that still leaves you with a lot of space for other tenants but it's at least seven percent at least you said seven to ten yeah. even ten that still leaves you with five percent and then i feel like five percent is only enough for another tenant. i would think you could fit at least two or three more with five percent two or three more smaller tenants so how about we say we Instead of saying a percentage of our whole space, could we say like how many tenants we are allowed to sublet? Would that be more favorable in your size? I like where we're going with this. My only concern is you say, okay, let's agree that we can only sublet to three tenants without any restrictions on size. That could be three huge tenants that totally changes the character of the store. You kind of get what my concern yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, correct me if I'm wrong. So you are saying like I can some sublet into some like three different tenants and each of them takes a huge percent of our space, right? That's what I'm concerned about, yes. Yeah. So how about we say our store can sublet into uh, Seven different, seven different tenants with each of them not bigger than ten percent. Oh, would that be too much? Because well, each not bigger than ten percent, then we're looking at seventy percent. Yeah, but the thing is, even though there's some ten percent tenant, others would be only take two or three percent. Right. Okay, I do see what you're saying, but that really leaves it open for you to sublet up to seventy percent of the space. Before. I mean, I understand that's unlikely, mm -hmm. but I don't think that's something we could have in an agreement just because of the potential for that. Okay. It's too much risk on our end. So how about we say we have we can have at least uh, we can have two tenants for up to ten percent, and then other five is only at a maximum of five percent each. It would have to be five percent total. What do you mean by 5% total? The other ones, it can't be 5% each. It would have to be 5% total. Because again, oh, we're no. still looking at a huge percentage. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, I think. 
So you are looking for a percentage of 25%, right? Correct. Let's start with 25%. I think that's a fair starting point. Okay. So do you agree on 25% or you... Well, it depends on the rest of the agreement. Okay. I think we can decide the general outline of it and then hone in on specific percentages, specific numbers and whatnot. Okay. So, I mean, again, this goes back to the whole thing. We want this to remain a luxury store. So would you be willing to guarantee that you're allowed to sublet, but the character of the use must be maintained? Needs to be a luxury place. Uh, so, correct me if I'm wrong. So we have already discussed the use, even though we haven't fully finished the use part. But we, I, I think, like, in two or three years, the use will be expanded a little bit. And then after maybe 10 or some, some 10 years after, we can still like expand the use a little bit in that. Would that be reasonable to you? So in this terms, it's the, the use must be maintained. It's still according to the, like the time phrase of the, like the actual use, right? So, okay. so what I'm saying here is like maybe after three years, the use would be expanded so we can submit our play, a space to the restaurants instead of just the closing stores or other like cosmetics, something like that. Right. So I think that the underlying interest for that proposal were actually taken into account in the original agreement we had because mm -hmm. we had use first two years, no change. After two years, written approval from landlord must yeah. maintain the use of a luxury store. But we can put something in the agreement that expands the use of luxury. It doesn't have to just be clothing. Well, you mentioned yeah. restaurants. We can include luxury dining establishments. Yeah, like fine dining or something. Yeah, fine dining. So I think that that interest is actually already taken into account in the agreement. And there's no mm -hmm. need to go back to the drawing board on a good agreement that we took all that time to get to. Yeah. So I think we should focus on the subletting in particular. So what would be the lowest percentage you'd be willing to accept? Contingent on other aspects. So... Because you are proposing, like, what's your opening position for this one? My opening position, I offered 15%. 15%. And I think that's a very high opening position, in light of the fact that the range typically for this sort of model goes from 5% to 25%. So I really respect for your opening. So because I'm offering 25% and then you are offering 15%, could we close up in middle 20%? Yeah, I think that that's fair. So sublet, you're allowed to sublet up to 20% of the total space. And then it would be great if we could have something in there saying needs to maintain the luxury character of the store. And again, that does not just need to encompass clothing. We can say clothing, accessories, and dining establishments take into account your desire to include restaurants in yeah. the space. So... Uh, just another thing because um because we because like the restaurant is in time lasts from two to three years and then maybe after ten years or so also we still might want to expand our like the product lines and our stores in terms of adding other products into our department stores would that be accept acceptable? What other products specifically? Well. As I'm t talking about, like the um the big products, like the furniture and so stuff. But as a favor of yours, we will still maintain it as the luxury products. So it's not like common common products you can buy from Walmart or other wholesale stores. It's it will be luxury brands at least. Okay, now. We're going back to the furniture here, and I understand that is something that you're looking into in the future, and mm -hmm. I see where you're coming from, but I do honestly feel that even if 
it's high-end furniture, luxury furniture, not cheap furniture, that is still representing a big departure from the original character of the store. I mean, we're going from a clothing and accessory store to clothing, dining establishments, as well as furniture. I think that that is just a big shift, even if it is high-end furniture. It'll be a very different type of store. I think you can agree on that. So, again, I'm willing to compromise on the restaurants, considering how far ahead you are and you're planning on that, but I don't think the furniture is something we can include in this agreement to meet no. our end's interest. Oh, so, just, I'm trying to understand, so you want to say, like, the furniture, stuff like that, won't have a... Too us. different from what you currently are. So, because we are considered to, like, maybe trust our products line in the future a little bit. So apart from the fine dining uh, restaurants, we have, as our proposal already in the plans, is there anything that it's acceptable other than the furniture? Because I feel like that's the only thing we really talked about apart from the, like, the fine dining. What else would be acceptable? Yeah. I mean, well, that depends on what you're planning to do. What What do you have in mind? Yeah, because... I mean, obviously, something like electronics, no, that would not be acceptable. That's just too different. Yeah. But, like, what we... What our end goals from it is that, is that we are still keep ourselves as a luxury store. Okay. So, for furniture... Even though we say we want to expand it, it's not like the like the overall normal furniture. It's it must be some like good furnitures or like designer furnitures, which target to like high uh, consumer power consumers consumption power consumers. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So and then this this plan won't because I have already pros promised you that if we can have our restaurant earlier, so it won't be that earlier. So it's, we are talking about maybe ten or fifteen years later. You're talking ten, fifteen years later for the yeah. furniture. Yeah. So it's not like just as our restaurant is a recent thing, it's maybe like 10 or 15 years later because the market has changed, so we have to make some changes. Okay, I get that. You worry about, all right, changes in the market. We yeah. might need to branch out into these areas yeah. in order to improve our business. Yeah. That, honestly, it's just directly at odds with our interest of maintaining the character of the store. Because you have to understand there's uncertainty on our end too how will that affect the number of customers how will that affect revenues how will that affect our financing i mean i honestly think we compromised here we went from luxury stores luxury clothing store to luxury clothing and fine dining i really do think we compromised on this whole issue of use but if there's another area in terms of the subletting mm -hmm. that you want to bring on the table for negotiation, that I'd be willing to open up another issue. So for me, there's not pretty much other issues apart from the furniture thing. And then I would say for me, it's pretty much all the same here. Okay, so what I can do for you in order to meet interest or compromise here, mm -hmm. is you said there's nothing else that you feel the need to bring on the table, nothing else that's a priority to you, and you are compromising on this whole issue of maintaining its use as a luxury store. So we initially said 20%, would be willing to raise that 22%. So compared to, uh, I, I, I certainly appreciate that, but compared to to raise it into 22%. Would you mind if we can include, in terms of use, maybe we can put other expansions, maybe after 15 years, after 20 years, something like that. Yeah, because what could I know, like what we have now for the use? So I think it's, we can, we need to keep the use 
for two years, and now we have the fine dining parts of our use, right? Yeah, for two years, stays the same. After two years to expand the use, written approval from the landlord, and must maintain the character of a luxury store. And in the definition of luxury, we will include fine dining, yes. So how about for the definition, we say, we'll define luxury as high-end clothing, shoes, makeup, as well as fine dining. Is that a definition we can settle on? Um, could you repeat it again? Just high-end clothing, shoes, makeup, and fine dining. And fine dining. Does that work for you? Uh, we also have a category of home accessories. Accessories. All right, I'll throw in accessories too. High-end yeah. clothing, shoes, makeup, accessories, fine dining. Just so that we're clear. Yes. Yeah. So that's from year two, right? From year two, moving forward, correct? Yes. Yeah. And then I'm not sure like what it's the written uh, proposals for that one because I think we agreed on we after two years we can have the final right? Or for the written pro pro proposal, is that for any other issues related to terms of use? So you can request approval from the landlord for mm -hmm. any change in use, whether it's your restaurants or whether it's something else that comes up. And the only stipulation is it must maintain the character of a luxury store under the definition that we establish. So clothing, shoes, makeup, accessories, fine dining. That's the criteria for it to receive approval. Oh, so so are you saying are you saying like for thirty years the, the thirty years period that's like the definition for all the things that we can do to change our product line? For the length of the lease. Yes. Is that something you'd like to change? Um I can I can agree on this for the first 15 years, but maybe after 15 years, we want uh, like for them to change it a little bit. Right. So, so how about, would you be willing to keep the agreement we have, and then I'd be willing to comp compromise on the subletting issue in exchange for keeping this agreement? So keeping this agreement, is that for, like we define it as a luxury store, and it's only defined as a high stuff high-end stores instead of like putting the criteria including like different dining high end that's just very open-ended i mean it could open the doors for all sorts of products that don't necessarily fit with the character of the store you know what i mean yeah. like high end that could mean high-end electronics which is obviously something very different from what we currently have so we won't be able to like have the electronics, but I feel like we, so given the time frames, it might be necessary for us, like after 15 years or something like that, we need to add more stuff in our stores instead of just keep it as restaurants and, uh, and luxury de uh, department stores. That's really not something that we're willing to do on our end. I mean, we already compromised on that. Originally, it was just supposed to be the clothing and accessories. We compromised on the whole fine dining issue. And really, mm -hmm. that's as far as we can go with that. I mean, again, as I said, we could go back to the subletting issue, and I'd be willing to compromise more on that in light of this. So. <clears throat> Subletting. So you are talking about from twenty percent to twenty two percent, right? Yeah, you can sublet up to twenty two percent of the space for um luxury tenants, and then how about this? Provisions can be made that would allow ripe development to take back some of the space that we leased to you instead of subletting, if that's an option that you'd like to exercise. 
and then we could provide you with compensation to cover the transition costs. Uh, could you experiment more? Yeah, so say you want to take the option of instead of subletting to another tenant, we can actually take back some of the space that we leased to you instead of you subletting it. And then if that happened, we could provide you with compensation to cover the transition costs related to that. So you are saying if you want, instead of subletting to someone else, we, you guys are willing to take it back and then you guys can, sub, can like, lease it out again, right? Correct. Mm, I feel like that just don't really like so like one major reason for ours to sublet. And we could guarantee you would get compensated for that. Guarantee. So not you might receive compensation. We can say yes, you will receive compensation from right development. So for what what's the compensation? Compensation would cover transition costs, lost sales, and profits. So what I feel here is that it's not not necessarily a benefit to us because when we sublet, it's usually we trying to expand our like product lines or okay. expand our stores. So I I feel like you I'd rather have some like concession from you guys from in terms of use instead of the subletting. But I'm not sure like what kind of concession you guys can have in terms of use. Yeah, as I said, I mean what you keep offering with expanding your product line to furniture and things like that. That's not something we can offer. I mean, what other proposals you have in terms of use? What would you like us to compromise on? And if we compromise on use, then we can't offer you that 22% for the subletting. So for the use. Like what I primarily ask is to expand our terms of use because there's always different things going forward. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> would that be acceptable if we, let's say we, we didn't, so just to Clarify if we want to add some big goods like other furniture or stuff, it can it won't change up the, up the nature of ours as a like closing department. So for example, could we say like the big furniture can only be like five percent of our total space and would that be acceptable? Because I know like your big concern is that we change our nature as a luxury source. So maybe you guys worried about we turn our Close stores into a like a furniture stores instead, and then that changed the consumer population, right? Look, here's what I'm gonna say: anything other than this whole clothing, shoes, makeup, accessories that essentially does change the character of a store. Sure, it's still high end luxury, but we're looking at high end luxury clothing and accessories. So what I'll say is, you can choose what's most important to you. Can we can expand to include fine dining, or we can do high-end furniture. We cannot do both. Oh, so could could I ask why? What's the reason why we can do those? The whole maintaining the character of the store. I mean, it's one thing to branch out from clothing to high-end furniture, but then we're doing clothing, we're doing furniture, we're doing food. You have a little bit of everything, and that's completely different from a high-end clothing and accessories store when you have such a variety of products included in your product line. Yes, so I understand your concern. So what I'm proposing is to, would you say like a certain percentage of what in the in our stores would be okay for you guys to accept it or it's not gonna be? Yeah, a certain percent of either restaurants or furniture. So you guys can't do We can't do both. Okay. But we can do a certain percentage of dining establishments or a certain percentage of furniture. So how about for the subletting total, we have up to 20% total 
and we can say 5% of that can be fine dining. So would that be, uh, I feel like if you guys say I can supply the 20% in total, then I would have the freedom to decide what I supply to, right? It's not, I think it's, it's, it's already said there, so it's not like it's only 5% can be fine. Okay, so you feel like it should just be sublet up to 20%, 20%. And then that will also be fitting the previous definition of luxury that we established in the use agreement. Yeah. High-end clothing, shoes, makeup, accessories, fine dining. Yeah. Okay. So I think we have at least a tentative agreement on each mm -hmm. of the three issues. So let's just go through everything and make okay. sure that we have an agreement. I'm really happy with how this worked out. And I believe this meets your interests. So we have a win-win agreement for each of us. So on the use of assignment, assignment will be permitted after, after the seven-year mark. So no assignment for seven years. After the seven-year mark, assignment will be permitted, and assignment can only, it can only be assigned to a similar operator. Yeah. So that's what we agreed on for assignment. Mm -hmm. For the issue of use, for the, oh, and assignment and that would be in the instance that you experience losses that would make it unfeasible for you to continue operations. Would that be a preset instance because I think that one it's only applies to like my offers of five years to ten years. Oh okay let's take that out yeah, then because yeah. that was a separate offer. Yeah. Okay gotcha. So on the issue of use, no change in use for so the first two years after two years, use can be changed with written approval from the landlord. That approval can be requested at any point during the two years with the change in use occurring after the two years. Mm -hmm. And that process is also for the life of the lease, which I believe is 30 years. Mm -hmm. And the use must remain the character of a luxury store, referring to high-end clothing, shoes, makeup, accessories, and fine dining. Sublet, you can sublet up to it was 20% we decided on, 20% of the space. Again, all the subtenants must be in the character of a luxury store using that definition just mentioned. High-end clothing, shoes, makeup, accessories, and fine dining. Yeah, we have an agreement. Yeah. Great, thank you.